Speaker Martin, fellow Republicans. You, the elected representatives of our Republican Party, have again given to me the highest honor you can bestow, your nomination for President of the United States. I thank you with all my heart for your friendship and your confidence. I am profoundly sensible of the responsibility that goes with this nomination. I pray God that I may deserve this opportunity to serve our country. In all humility, I accept the nomination. I am happy to be able to say to you that I come to you unfettered by a single obligation or promise to any living person. I come free to join with you in selecting to serve our nation the finest men and women in the country free to unite our party and our country in meeting the grave challenge of our time. United, we can match this challenge with depth of understanding and largeness of spirit, with a unity which is above recrimination, above partisanship, and above self-interest. These are articles of faith from which the greatness of America has been fashioned. Republican Party. There's been honest contention, spirited disagreement, and I believe considerable hot argument. But don't let anybody be misled by that. You have given here in this hall a moving and dramatic proof of how Americans who honestly differ close ranks and move forward for the nation's well-being, shoulder to shoulder. Let me assure you that beginning next January 20, there will be teamwork in the government of the United States of America. When these rights are secure in this world of ours, the permanent ideals of the Republican Party shall have been realized. The ideals of the American people are the ideals of the Republican Party. We have tonight, and in these days which preceded us in Philadelphia, lighted a beacon in this cradle of our own independence as a great America. We've lighted a beacon to give eternal hope that men may live in liberty with human dignity and before God and loving him stand erect and free. Obviously, ladies and gentlemen, the original report that Governor Dewey would make only an informal acceptance this evening was uh, either erroneous or changed between the time it was made and the time the governor reached convention hall.